There is a brand new platform for creating graphics, editing photos and editing video and it's all in one and really powerful and it's created by Adobe. It's called Adobe Creative Cloud Express. There used to be a version of it called Adobe Spark but they kind of combined this to make it an all-in-one web-based platform that you could use on your computer and they do have a version for your iPhone and Android phones too. I'm gonna to show you how to use Creative Cloud Express in this video from scratch and I do have a link below. It's completely free to get started but they do have paid upgrades that I'll point out as we go through the video. And if you've ever used Canva for example to make graphics this is gonna look very familiar to you. If you click the link below you'll land on Adobe Creative Cloud Express and this used to be called Adobe Spark but they have made it a lot better than what Spark used to be and you could just get started for free and then log into your Adobe account if you have one. If you don't have one, you could create one on the next page. So with these design platforms, I typically like to start with templates because with templates, someone else designed something that looks pretty professional and then you could go ahead and edit that template instead of creating something from scratch. So if you press the plus sign here, you could see all kinds of different things you could use this for. If you wanna create a logo or a flyer or a video, Instagram post, Facebook post, you could do it all from here. And he has a bunch of options like removing backgrounds, making GIFs, converting different things, merging videos. I'm gonna show you some of those in this video here. So let's go ahead and search for a YouTube thumbnail. Let's say that's what we're trying to design in this video. I'm gonna go ahead and search and it's gonna pull up all kinds of different templates here for you to choose from. And you could choose by category. So let's say I wanted to do education. I'll just see the templates that are based on education. And then this will show me only YouTube thumbnails that are education based. So let me go ahead and choose one that I like and then I could edit it from there. So let's go ahead and choose this one. For example, you could say start here and choose this template. So this is your canvas where everything is gonna take place. So let me show you exactly what you're looking at. On the left side, if you change what menu you're on, this box changes as well. So if I go to the photo menu, I'm gonna get photos to choose from. Text is gonna give me text options and so on. Icons, I could search icons. So let's go ahead and just start here with text. If you wanted to change this template too, you could do it from the template menu and it's gonna show you everything based on the education search or you could just start from scratch and choose a, a different template. Just click on it and it will replace this one. But I'll go back to text here. So to change text, you could just double click on any text and then you'll get some options on the right side as far as what you could do. So edit text, you could go ahead and change that here. So I could type in my own text and it took care of all the spacing and sizing for me here. I did not have to do anything. But if you wanted to resize things, you could grab these corners here and then just go ahead and resize them whichever way you want with any text that you see. If you wanna change the color, there is a color option right here. So I could go ahead and change it real easy. And you have font option and shapes and so on. If you don't like something that you see, including text or shapes, for example, let's say I wanna delete this, you could just press delete and it will just get rid of that for you and you'll have this area to work with and add something new. So if you wanted to add another piece of text maybe in this box, you could just go ahead and grab it and drag it over here and it's gonna place it right over here for you. And with anything that you could edit, you could double click, you'll get this text menu, and then you'll have that same option again. Now, some other things you could do, you could change the background color. So I just selected the background, you could choose a different color here. So if I wanted to choose maybe this color, I could go ahead and do that. But since the templates are made by pros, I usually leave the colors because they know what colors work well with other colors, and I don't have to make that decision here. Next, I typically like to use photos for a lot of my design elements. So you could upload your own photo. So let me just go ahead and upload one. I'll go ahead and upload this one here and check this out. If I select this photo, I could remove the background. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll remove the background from it just by clicking this option. And just like that, I've removed the background and I have a bunch of more advanced options here. Now, this is by Adobe. So it's using the power of Photoshop that you no longer need any technical and advanced knowledge for. So now I could grab myself. Let me go ahead and delete this text actually. And I'll grab this one and I'll put myself in this corner and stretch it out so I'm a little bit bigger right over here. Now I'm gonna use also icons. I'm gonna delete these icons here. Let's say I wanna use my own icons. I'm gonna go to this icon tab and there's a bunch of icons to choose from. So 
In this case, let's use computer as an icon because this is Adobe Creative Express on the computer. And then you could grab maybe this one here and put it over here and stretch it out here. And I'll search for phone here and you could put that over here as well. Let's stretch this out. Again, you could change the color of all these items too. They're over here. So I'll replace this with a blue and click away. So you see how easy this is. You could go to the background tab as well if you just don't want a plain color background and you have all kinds of different backgrounds to choose from. So let's say I wanted something more advanced. I'm going to pin it to the background so I don't need to move it freely. And that looks pretty interesting as well. So you could play around with backgrounds just like this, select them and you'll get a new design this way. Design assets could be kind of cool. So you have frames and things like that, film strips. You could use these maybe if you wanted to put something in the corner, for example, to just give it a little bit of special design, you could go ahead and do things like this. I'm going to go ahead and delete that for now. You could add your own logo here. So if you want your logo to be part of your design, you could upload that. And you could always go back through any of these and make some changes. And there is a video element that I'm going to cover in a different video, but you could create videos with this as well. When you feel good about your design, there is a couple of things you could do. The premium version lets you resize this for different platforms. So if you were making this for multiple platforms, because different platforms have different sizes to them, this is the traditional YouTube thumbnail size. But if I wanted to make a square for Instagram, for example, that's the resizing option. So I don't have to create from scratch, but you don't have to do that. You could design multiple times from scratch. If you were to save this as a video, there's an animation option too. So if you were to animate the text, for example, you could do things like that. But again, I'll cover that in the video version of this platform. So then I could go ahead and either share it or I typically like to download. So if I press download, Again, I could save it as a movie. I don't want to do that. This is just a JPEG in this case. So I'll choose JPEG and I'll download. JPEG and PNG are most commonly used. Those are for photos. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And just like that, it saved it. And I could either keep editing or go back to the home page and start again from scratch. Again, you could see you could do images, videos, and PDFs. And there's templates for all of them here. Now I'm going to go to my desktop. And here is what I've created and I saved as a JPEG so I could upload this to any platform I want from here. To see all the projects that you have worked on, you could always go back to the projects tab and it's going to show you your previous projects here. And another useful thing I really like here is you could go to the learn option and they've actually made really simple and useful tutorials here. And I used a few of them to figure out some of the things I wanted to do, like removing background or some image effects here, but they have a whole bunch and I'm sure they're going to add to this page all the time. And I'll make more videos covering some of the more advanced things, including video creation with this platform coming up. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.